Well, let's talk about some other issues, including some that you put out in a survey uh, to, 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 to people. You talked about, uh, you want to know whether people are for fighting climate change, implying that you are for fighting climate change. How? Well, I think that we've seen uh, through many, many scientific reports that, uh, you know, that, you know, the, the globe is warming, right? Uh, that uh, our ice caps are recessing, right? And there's things. Well, the question we have is to how do. much man is responsible for that, right? That's the real question, and that that that, that should guide the policy. You think you think uh, that that it, that it's man-made. You think it's natural. What do you think? A little bit, a little bit of both, right? Of course. I mean, I think we go through cycles uh, as far as the non-man man-made part. We go through cycles. Uh, but a lot of it's man-made, and that's, again, building some coalitions with our partners around the world because some of our partners aren't as uh, conscious of this as we are in the United States. But how but do you fight it? What do you do? What do you, as a congressman, when you go there, what would you, what would you advocate for? Well, look, I think we take a leadership role, um, and we take a leadership role in sh showing, like, these are our policies in the United States. Um, but what policies? Reduce emissions, though, you know, things like that, where, that we, things that we know cause global warming. So you would you would uh, mandate a, a new emission standards for, for for certain businesses? Is that what you would do? Uh, as an example, I think we have to look at that kind of stuff. Look at the science and see is that something that's causing it? And I think it is. Then you know we might have to tighten that up.